greetings of goodwill from my boss, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. He has sent me with a specific message to our governors and their deputies that he is serious about devolution. And he has told me that the remarks he made in his inaugural speech were true and genuine. And just like he has started with the judiciary, more things are coming to support devolution. I want to assure you that things are going to be different for you. IBEC will be a serious forum. You know it wasn't serious because there was lack of political goodwill. Relevant cabinet secretaries did not come to those meetings. All the things that were agreed on were not implemented because the chair was William Ruto. That nonsensical politics have come to an end. All the IBEC forums, all the relevant cabinet secretaries will be present and they will implement instantly what has been agreed upon. As an elected leader, I want to assure you the kind of disrespect that was displayed to elected leaders in the last five years, including elected governors by national government officials, is a thing of the past. These national government officials, we have told them, and will drum it to their ears, that getting elected is not an easy thing. It's a very serious business. Being elected by 100,000 people who slept in different homes and came one morning without any meeting, without any consultation, and deciding you are the governor of your county is not a mean achievement. And I want to assure you, once the top leadership has addressed the issue of attitude towards elected governors, that respect will trickle down to the bottom. And you shall see. I'll tell these county commissioners, I'll tell the police commanders, that an elected governor is the people's choice. And the people that you are coming to govern have made a decision as to who will govern them. And we'll tell these officials, if you cannot work with an elected governor, the choices are very narrow. A governor cannot go on transfer. He has just to stay there. So it's you to align yourself with elected leaders. And I must say, the kind of disrespect we have seen towards elected leaders, all the way from the deputy president to the governors, to the MPs, to the senators, to the women reps, by government functionaries has come to an end. I will be shortly, once we form government and we have a minister for interior and a PS, I will be convening regional meetings with the regional commissioner, the county commissioners and the governors so that we align them properly on the way, new way of doing things in this country. The sovereignty of this country is expressed by the people through their elected representatives. And that is why we must align all our government officials to that reality so that we are able to work properly. And therefore that is something that will happen. The President has told me to inform you that the coordination summit will be convened regularly as per the law. We'll do it twice a year, and if need be, we can do it as many times. And he has given a commitment that the first summit will be convened before the end of the year. He has further asked me to inform you that that summit will not be a monologue. It will be a serious, consultative forum between the president, his deputy, and elected governors so that we can move Kenya forward. The era of summoning meetings and lecturing elected leaders 
like children, must come to an end. We must allow elected leaders to speak because they speak for the people, and the people are supreme. So those forums, and I have no doubt in my mind, will unlock most of the issues that you have. The issue of delayed disbursements will be addressed. The issue of transferring the remaining functions, followed by resources, will be addressed shortly. We must give true meaning to devolution, because that is what the Constitution says, and indeed, when we have gone round, the people of Kenya are truly happy about devolution. Therefore, I want to invite all of you, please, disregard the various political formations that we had. This coalition versus this one. That is what under the bridge. We are all now elected to serve the people of Kenya. Let us work together. Let us work together, and my office is open. And I'll be very proactive in intervening in all situations where you need intervention from the national government officials to make sure that you are able to deliver your mandate to the people who elected you. My office will be available, I will be available personally. And for the few who know me, I'm an easy guy. I'm not complicated. I'm not complicated. I have no hang-ups about these positions. This is all nonsense. This is nothing. What is important is to serve the people and to be available to your fellow elected leaders, irrespective of your position. So please, my office is open. Let's engage. Let's move on. And in our new government, we have no boundary of who supported Kenya Kwanza, who supported Azimio, that is water under the bridge. Ourselves, we are magnanimous in victory, and we want to move this country forward. And this is our country, irrespective of who won and who didn't. That is now a matter that belongs to the past. Let us all work together for the betterment of our country. And we have just started the journey of economic transformation to change the lives of the people of Kenya, to improve the quality of life for the people of Kenya, to create an enabling environment for Kenyans to do business. Our policy is less and less government in people's lives and more and more services to the people of Kenya. Finally, I want to assure you, we are aware of the harassment and intimidation governors have had gone through by state agencies. The level of extortion by detectives pretending to be fighting graft, whereas they were just extorting money from governors and officials is a thing of the past. We have told DCIA to go back to Kiabu Road and wait for crimes to be reported there. They have no business in government offices, hovering all over and creating a toxic environment for service delivery. We cannot have detectives in government offices because they poison the atmosphere and the environment for civil servants to deliver. So we, have, we are going to tell our security officers that they cannot send a junior police officer to go and harass an interrogator, an elected governor. If there is an issue that needs to be addressed, as it should be, we are not saying we don't fight graft, but let us be decent people. Let us have respect for elected leaders. Let the head of that particular organization write a letter to the governor himself and not delegate to some junior officers to address a sitting governor, because that is not right. And those are the things that we are going to do to restore the dignity of our leaders, to enable them to perform. Because when you embarrass an elected leader in front of his juniors and you go away, how do you expect him to perform the following day? That is what we must do. And I've told them, I was a civil servant for many years. Those days when things were working properly, a gazetted officer could only be interrogated by a gazetted officer. There is no way you can send a corporal or a constable to interrogate a sitting governor. 
if you want you must look at the level the various levels in the security sectors we engage at that level so that there is dignity and decorum and that is what is most important so ladies and gentlemen i want to assure you that uh, as chair of ibec you will enjoy working with me yeah, you'll enjoy and by the way nobody will harass you anymore you guys are so lucky that the deputy president is a guy who has been harassed therefore what we have agreed with dr william ruto that probably the harassment and intimidation we went through it was all god's doing so that never shall we allow other kenyans to be treated that way so we'll work hard we'll work together we'll support you devolution must succeed but please work as a team put the differences of azimio and kenya kwanza aside that is what are the bridge elect your leaders without looking at who belongs to what formation and be together it's a saying in my community that buffaloes don't move together in a herd because of liking each other they move together because of the danger of walking alone so you work together you have a better bargaining power you have a better leverage when you work as a team if you can elect your chair through consensus so be it if you can agree on the other positions so be it be a strong team and so that you are able to engage and please you don't have to look for anybody let's see at from the opposition to push me or push william ruto ourselves we are already persuaded we just need good leaders whom we can engage we don't need to be pushed by anybody on matters devolution we are already persuaded and we are up to the game and we are ready so with those very many remarks i wish you well enjoy your stay in mombasa i wish i had time to spend a few days here i have not rested for a single day for four and a half years and now we are working and we have to keep on moving i wish you well have a very fruitful engagement i look forward to the first ibec meeting i look forward to the summit and together we shall deliver to our people because we serve the same people asante sana na mungu awabariki
Wasolo mnanipata. Wasolo mnanipata. Uh, Nami ni kwamba shughuli hii ni kwamba uh, hafla hii tayari ni kwamba imeweza kufikia kikomo na ni kwamba tayari uh, naibu rais Rigathi Gachangwa ameweza kumalizia kutoa hotuba yake pale kielezea masuala mengi uh, ambayo uh, tayari uh, serikali imejipanga kuweza kuhakikisha yanafanyika na ni kwamba huu ulikuwa ni mkutano wa kwanza uh, na magavana ambao tayari wameweza uh, kuchaguliwa katika uh, kaunti mbali mbali kaunti zote 47 na kumbuka kwamba yale ameweza kuzungumza ni kwamba tayari serikali uh, ni kwamba iko kidete kuhakikisha kwamba ina uhusiano kikamilifu uh, na magavana wote ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa ili kuhakikisha kwamba uh, wananchi wanapata uh, huduma ambazo uh, walikuwa wameweza kupiga kura na hali yao ama haki yao ya kikatiba uh, kuweza kupata huduma hizo na amezungumzia masuala mengi ikiwemo uh, kuhakikisha kwamba kuna kuwa na pembejeo pia vile vile kwa wakulima na pia kuhakikisha kwamba uh, masuala mbali mbali ya hatua ama hatua zile za kuhakikisha kwamba kuna na nafasi za ajira uh, kwa vijana pia vile vile ameweza kutoa wito uh, kwa magavana wote ya kuweza kufanya kazi kikamilifu uh, na asasi mbalimbali mbali ambazo za kibinafsi ili kuhakikisha kwamba huduma uh, zinakuwa ni nzuri uh, kwa Kenya uh, pia vile vile ameweza kutoa wito uh, kwa wale wote ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa katika nyadhifa mbalimbali uh, katika angazili ama katika viwango vile vya kaunti kuhakikisha kwamba wanatekeleza wajibu wao ipasavyo na ameweza kutoa wito kwamba uh, kwa maafisa wote ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa kutojihusisha kamwe uh, na maswala Uh, na masuala ya rushwa uh, akisema kwamba serikali iko kidete kwamba yeyote atakayehusika na rushwa uh, ni kwamba serikali uh, itakuweza kumchukulia hatua uh, za kisawa sawa ama hatua kali uh, za kisheria uh, na pia vile vile ameweza kuwataka uh, ameweza kuwataka uh, magavana kuhakikisha kwamba kwa sasa na maafisa wao kuangazia uh, matatizo yote ambayo yale yako kwa kaunti uh, ikiwemo zile pending bills ama madeni yote ambayo yako katika kaunti na kuhakikisha kwamba uh, wanapeleka uh, kwa serikali ili kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba pale kuna matatizo hizo yanaweza kuangaziwa kikamilifu masuala ya fedha na fedha zoeze kufika katika kaunti na kuweza kutoa huduma ambazo zinakubalika ameweza kusema wazi kwamba uh, masuala ya ugatuzi hayawezi kufanikiwa iwapo uh, serikali za kaunti uh, hazitahakikisha kwamba huduma zinatolewa kisawa sawa akisema kwamba hatua kamili ama lengo la kuwepo na ugatuzi ni kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wanapata huduma ambazo uh, walikuwa ni haki yao uh, ya kikati tiba na pia vile vile ameweza kutoa wito uh, kwa maafisa ama kwa asasi mbalimbali uh, za serikali kuhakikisha kwamba uh, maafisa uh, wa polisi hawatumiwi ili uh, hawatumiwi uh, kuwatatiza uh, viongozi ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa bali kuhakikisha kwamba uh, kuna kuwa na mwongozo ufao kuhakikisha kwamba iwapo kuna afisa yote aliyechaguliwa uh, akiwa na matatizo ama hatua yote ya kukiuka haki za kisheria uh, basi ni kwamba kuweko uh, na mfumo mzuri uh, wa za kuhakikisha kwamba uh, iwapo wanatakana kufika uh, mbele uh, ya vituo vya polisi basi uh, kuweze kuwa na mwelekeo ambao unafaa pasi uh, na kuweza uh, kuwatekeleza ama kuwatelekeza kuradhi uh, mbele ya familia zao ama uh, wapendo wao kwa hivyo uh, masuala mengi yameweza kuzungumziwa hapa na kuweka tu ile wazi ni kwamba uh, viongozi uh, mbalimbali ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa na kwa sasa ni kwamba uh, katika upande wa magavana kumbuka kuna jumla ya magavana saba ambao ni waki ke ikiwa ni gavana kutoka kaunti a uh, ya Kiambu uh, kaunti ya Embu uh, kaunti uh, ya Meru na kaunti uh, pia vile vile ya Kwale uh, na kaunti uh, ya Machakos ambao kwa sasa uh, wameweza kuchagua jumla ama wameweza kuchagua uh, wale magavana wa kike na lingine tu ni kwamba uh, kwa sasa kuna jumla ya magavana 28 wapya ambao wameweza uh, kuchaguliwa rasmi na kumbuka kwamba kati ya magavana wote hao kuna maga, na hii magavana wawili ambao wame dumu uh, kwa, mi, kwa, mi, kwa 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 miongo yote miwili ama kuradha ama kwa nyakati zote mbili uh, mhula wa kwanza na mhula wa pili ambao ni gavana naibu gavana kutoka katika kaunti ya Kwale na naibu gavana uh, kutoka uh, katika kaunti uh, ama kutoka katika kaunti ya Wasingishu kule na baadhi tu ya masuala mengine ambayo wameweza kuzungumzia wazi ni kwamba uh, kwa wale uh, magavana uh, wa magavana wa kike ni kwamba uh, ambao wameweza kuchaguliwa wameweza kutoa wito uh, kwa wale maafisa ngine kuweza kuwapatia ile fursa na kuweza kushirikiana nao kikamilifu uh, kuhakikisha kwamba uh, wakati wanapotekeleza uh, zile shughuli zao uh, wanazitekeleza 
katika njia ambayo ni bora zaidi. Kwa hivyo masuala mengi yanaweza kuzungumziwa kwa sasa naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua ameelezea bayana kwamba ni wakati wa kuweza kutekeleza kazi na kuweza kutoa huduma kwa wale wananchi ambao walirauka asubuhi na mapema kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba wanatekeleza ile haki yao katiba ya kupiga kura kwa chaguo viongozi ambao wataleta mabadiliko. Kwa hivyo ametoa wito kwamba kwa sasa hakuna kulala bali ni kutekeleza kazi kwa kisha kwamba wananchi wanapata zile huduma ambazo walikuwa wameweza kupigia kura na pia vile vile maafisa kuweza kujihusisha kikamilifu na kazi waliopewa. Kwa hivyo mengi yameweza kuzungumziwa lakini kumbuka kwamba hafla hii itaendelea hapo kesho na pia a, siku ya Jumamosi ndipo itakaweza kukamilika. Kwa hivyo kuendelea kesho masuala mengi yatakuwa yanaweza kujadiliwa. Na hayo tu kwa sasa a, mengi zaidi tutakuwa tunarudi hapo kesho kuweza kukupatia taarifa kamili kuhusiana na ajili na hapo baadaye pia vile vile katika taarifa zetu za habari tutaweza a, kueleza bayana yote yale ambayo yameweza kujadiliwa hapa kutoka a, katika a, ama kutoka katika mkutano huu ambao umeweza kufanyika katika eneo la Pride Inn hapa Shanzu na regesha moja kwa moja hadi studio Walimu na wanafunzi mpo. KBC Channel 1 inakutoa darasani na kukuleta jukwani ili upate kuaminika. Asante bwana sipika kwa kunipa fursa hii. Tayari kuwakaririsha shairi kwa kichwa. Kuelimika. Udhui gani ya lugha yanayojitokeza katika kauli hii ukirejelea mataifa mengi barani Afrika? Na kisha uburudike. Moja ni fahari yetu baba kina mama na watoto sauti za njiwa tamu sana sana ya Kiswahili elimu na maarifa bila mipaka kila Jumapili saa 7:30 papa hapa KBC